at ShaneStarsWithDroidModerX.com. I've been getting a ton of requests on the ROM that I'm running on my Nexus 7. So the ROM that I had been running now for at least a couple of weeks has been the Smooth ROM. The latest build has been up since December 15th, and it is based on CyanogenMod 10. Point one, four point two point one, so the latest version of Android, the latest version of CyanogenMod 10. Let's go into settings and look at a few things here about tablet. You'll see that the Android version is the latest available and the build number is also the latest available. I'm running the bricked kernel. One of the cool things about this particular ROM is that it gives you the options to install one of several kernels in the Aroma installer. So we'll get to that here in a little bit. Uh, but first I want to tell you some things about the ROM itself. So this has to be one of the smoothest functioning ROMs available for the Nexus 7. You can see just how easily it flies through screens. It gets a quadrant score of nearly 5,000 uh, depending on what kernel you use, which is very good for the Nexus 7. There are a few things that you can do in the Aroma installer, like you can choose which kernel you'd like to run, and then you can also add a real tablet UI. Not like the hybrid tablet UI from Paranoid Android, but an actual tablet UI. Some other things that it includes is uh, over-the-air updates using Goo Manager, so you'll see that it does come with Goo Manager, and you can install your over-the-air updates. Whenever they happen, it will be pushed to you through Goo Manager. Adblock is built in which is something that I'm not entirely fond of being a creator on YouTube. Um, it does block all the ads, even YouTube ads, uh, but it is built in. It includes 720p camera already built in. It has tons of build dot prop tweaks and other modifications to really increase performance. It's even more smooth than a stock Android. This is one of the most stable ROMs that you will be able to find for the Nexus 7. Another cool thing that it includes here, you can install the Boat Browser from the Aroma Installer. Uh, that just has Flash support. Some browsers do not support Flash, that one does. That's a plus in my book. It also includes the DSP Manager, File Manager from CM10. It includes Instagram Preloaded there, uh, Super SU, and Terminal Emulator. If we go into Settings, you'll see that you have some lock screen settings. Uh, so you can change the security and also the slider shortcuts. You have themes, so any signage in my 10 or AOKP theme from the Play Store, you'll be able to install those on the fly there. And then you have some system settings for further customization. You can customize the status bar. Uh, you can choose to show the clock or not show the clock. You can change the battery status style. And then you can also choose to have the notification count, which I do have there. And I can't make out, just to be quite honest, I can't make out what it says. They're so very small. But if you have excellent, excellent vision, you should be able to make that out. Uh, you have quick settings panel. So that's this panel here. You can add and remove toggles. You can choose their layout. You can choose the sound mode. In the notification drawer, uh, you can choose to have power widgets. So if you prefer not, if you don't like these, you can also have power widgets here in the regular pull down so you don't have to reach to the right side of the screen. I know for me a lot of times I'll try to grab the left side for my toggles uh, when I can find them really easily here. Uh, it's just, you know, I'm used to grabbing my notification from that side and if you're like me, you're not totally used to grabbing the toggles here so you can actually enable those power widgets for that menu. Then you also have power menu settings. That would be if you press and hold the power button it brings up your menu here with full reboot options. Uh, you can customize that menu there as well. So there are no performance settings, so you'll have to download an application from the market or from the Play Store, I should say, like CPU Master, and you'll be able to overclock and underclock here. You can overclock this all the way up to 1600 megahertz, uh, or you can underclock to save battery. There's also a few governors as well, and each kernel is different. So this is the brick kernel that I'm running, uh, but other kernels that you can choose from will have different settings and uh, different options. So now we'll go ahead and jump into the install guide. We'll want to reboot into recovery. If you've installed a ROM in the past, this should be pretty familiar, but you may want to stick around and see the complete installation because we're going to jump into the aroma installer so you'll see the features that you can add or take away uh, the first thing you want to do is factory reset so you'll swipe to wipe cache swipe to wipe dalvik cache swipe to wipe then you'll go and install the rom uh, be sure that you update twerp i did not update twerp and it created this zero folder uh, which is kind of a pain 
because it makes it a little difficult to find my files. So here we are, here's the smooth run for dot two. So go ahead and install that swipe to flash. And then that will bring up your aroma installer. So here we're just gonna go ahead and click next. And this gives you uh, big shout outs to all of the developers and donators that worked on this. Well, this is just a donators list. And of course you can donate to the developer of this ROM. I'll have a link in the description to his original post so that you can donate to him if you'd like to see your name on this list in the next build. Uh, you can choose what kernel you like here. There's five to choose from. Trinity kernel, Clemson Elite, battery saving kernel, uh, which is my favorite just because of the battery savings. Uh, bricked kernel is said to be the smoothest here and this is what the developer says that you should probably run so that's what I went with to begin with and that's what I'll go with this time. You can go with the boat browser and that supports flash that's what I did on my install. You can choose which apps you would like to have and which apps you would like to take away. You can also add the tablet mode mod here which is a full tablet UI modification not like uh, the hybrid mode in Paranoid Android. I do not choose to block ads uh, just because I don't think it's fair to the creator. But you can do it as you please. And then it will install. Give this about five minutes and your ROM will be fully installed. When you're finished you'll get in a message installation done. There you'll click next and you'll finish out and then you'll reboot system. So guys, that has been the smooth ROM for the Nexus 7. It is one of the smoothest, most stable ROMs that you can have for your Nexus 7. Guys, thanks for watching. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future. I do cover Galaxy Note 2, Galaxy S3, Droid DNA, Nexus 7, Nexus 10, and several other devices, so be sure that you are subscribed for videos in the future. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you in any way. So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. DroidMotorX.com, and as you guys may know, YouTube made some big, huge changes to their website layout in the...